Okay, uh, I'm Ken Dewey. I'm teaching cryptography. Most of you probably know me or have seen me or met me or heard me or saw me or something at one point or another. Uh, half of you met me this week, like him and a lot of new people. All right, um, thanks to Matthew, like the message I posted here, I now realize this is an eight-week course. I 100% positive when I put this in the schedule, it was a 16-week course with another section during the second eight weeks for those who couldn't keep up. Well, somehow they got put into two separate eight-week courses. So we get to go very fast. Does anybody have a course after this? You have a course after this, like, I mean, at 7 o'clock? Yes. Darn it. So maybe we could stay late. But we'll figure it out. Okay. Um, I did record this entire class already. If you were to go up on YouTube, search for Kenneth Dewey. Uh, and actually, I put the recordings up here as well, uh, which I'll get to that in a second. But anybody who's used D2L before? Who's new to D2L? You're new to D2L. No, I use it. Well, it's a new face on it because I used it a couple years ago. Okay. Yeah, our interface has changed. The reason this interface changed, in case you're wondering, makes it easier for mobile. That's all it is. Rather than the menu bar across the top, now it's got a shorter menu bar with drop down, so it's easier to do on mobile is what it is. Okay? Um, I will be putting a lot of notes up here. A couple things I put up there. Uh, has anyone ever seen the movie yet called Imitation Game? You need to watch it. It's excellent. It's about uh, Alan Turing and the Enigma Machine. Excellent, excellent movie. He's like the father of computing. I happen to have the movie, and I think maybe one night we'll have a movie night and watch it. So this comes up all the time. Now, y'all witnesses, we're going to click this. Don't ever show me again. We'll see you next time. Okay, but yeah, uh, The Enigma Machine, excellent movie, or imitation game. Um, there's also a book called Crypto by Stephen Levy. I'm reading it for the second time. I'm just about done. You need to read it. I did put the PDF up there. I don't know where it came from. <laughs> but the book is amazing. It really is. Um, every single thing I talk about in this class will be in that book. Okay. But it's in story form. You're how it actually happened and what they did. I mean, I'm, I'm, uh, one part in this class I don't cover in great depth is the clipper chip, and that's actually the part I'm in the book again now. And it's like it's really amazing how, they, how that all came about. But it covers everything from PGP to RSA to everything. So if you have not read Crypto yet by Stephen Levy, PDF's up there. You can also get the book on Amazon for like five bucks. It's pretty cheap. He also wrote a book called Hackers, which is also very good. So I'm going to get the bookstore to get these books in stock. I don't know if you want to buy it from there, but it would be more expensive than Amazon, but at least it would be accessible. But, so if you haven't read it yet, you all know you can read PDF on Kindle and all that, don't you? You can actually email to your Kindle. If you didn't know that, I can tell you how to do it. So yeah. um, but again, so this is our schedule. Well, well, we changed the schedule. On D2L, if you go to the content page, it's broken up into eight weeks. I actually just finished picking this up a few minutes before class started. So if you looked at it this morning, it had all 16 weeks in there. So I moved it around. Again, the course files, you will see our syllabus. You will see our schedule. You will see a book and... Another book. I have not read this book yet. This is supposedly the book the movie imitation game is based upon. Now, the movie is a movie. If you know what movies are like, it's a lot of it is... Flash. Dramatized. Right. Massive dramatization. Drama yeah, that's the one. But uh, <laughs> it is a very good movie. I watched it. You know, uh, uh, I, I teach for class for OSU as well, and I told them to read it. Then one of the students on there posted about the TV series called Mr. Robot, mm -hmm. which I started watching. I'm like, damn it, that looks good. He goes, that's what you get for Imitation Game. He <laughs> said, I had to watch it. Then I had to watch it again with my wife. Then I had to watch it again with my kids. And I'm going to watch it again this weekend with my in-laws. And it's like, because it is. It's that good. I've watched it like three times already. Mm -hmm. Are you in this class? Yep. Pick up a chair. Oh, there's like. Oh, there's kind of like. Okay. So, but if you get a chance, watch the movie. Okay. If you want the uh, movie, I have that too. So, all right, um, let's talk about your syllabus first off. Okay. The syllabus is online; you all can read it. Hopefully, everything's correct this semester. Uh, we actually do need to. Mo I was actually going through the syllabus for a lot of classes, and they suck. But, uh, um, but this is cryptography and trusted systems—a three-hour course. It says online, but it's not online. Forget that part. But, uh, 
uh, teaching in class. You can complete this class online if you'd like. If you miss a class, like I said I've already recorded the entire class multiple times. So for some reason, you can always go back and watch another recording if you'd like. Okay? Uh, Deliver Tuesdays at 540. If I had known it was eight weeks, it would have been a longer time period. But obviously, that's my fault. I screwed it up somehow. The book, which is not required. I'm assuming nobody bought it. Okay. It's a very good book, but it's a very detailed. I mean, it's a very in-depth book. It's actually hard to understand in some aspects of it. I took this course originally back in 2003 at University of Tulsa with Dr. Shinoy. The only difference was he taught it at the master's level. So when I cover DES and multiple lectures and AES in an entire lecture, he will cover six of those in one hour. Or actually, like he spends like 10 minutes on AES. Because it's so, you know. So we do cover it a lot more in depth. And actually, we had a lot of students go to Tulsa, and they all were asking for me to send my slides to them because I explain it real well. Because, you know, his is a master's level. He doesn't explain it as well. She doesn't have to. You should be able to the point where you could learn it. But that's why I made it easier for you guys. But, but that's the book we use there. I have the book if you want to borrow. Well, actually, I probably don't have the book. It seems like all my books have been stolen again. I don't know what the deal is. There's a massive black market for books around here. So they're always they leaving. Probably, they probably take your books, sell them back to the bookstore. Oh, yeah. That's, yeah. <laughs> I went, what, last summer I was gone for three weeks. to Houston came back. I had an entire bookshelf with like 60 books in the back that was empty. Totally gone. We watched the videos, and you can see a guy, one of the cleaning guys, always walking around with an empty backpack, cleans my office, now a full backpack. So it's crazy. But okay, I do recommend reading crypto. I will be putting bonus questions on the test because I'm actually redoing the test for this class. So you need to read it. You definitely need to read it. Okay, we're going to cover a bunch of stuff. It's all listed there. Please feel free to read through that if you like. Um, you can have some assignments and some exams. Hey, assignments were 35% of your grade. Exams, I think it's only two. Yeah, I said multiple. It's going to be two exams in this class since it's shorter. Um, if they are proctored or not, we'll be discussed at a later date. Okay. Uh, funny story, over the summer, we had a full-time professor teaching a statistics class online. It's amazing that all homework and all exams were submitted from the Philippines. And the student lives here. So, we're, we, we have issues like that. Yeah, so, you can hire it out. It happens all the time. Okay? But, a bunch of lab assignments. You actually have a whole bunch in this class. So, which means they're each, wor each worth a little bit less. If you fail one of them, it doesn't mean anything. And this is, this is one of the two toughest courses, in my opinion, uh, which means I most likely curve at the end. And the way I curve is, if you do the work, I might curve your grade. If you skip three assignments, you don't get a curve. So do the work, and then you might get a curve. What? Or attempt the work. Yeah, well, yeah, <laughs> turn in something, okay? Okay, the last day to withdraw is the 25th of September. I know it's late or early, whatever, but it's only a week course. And the final needs to be clean, completed by the 7th of October, okay? Then the lucky for you guys... If you didn't enjoy the class enough in the first eight weeks, you could re-enjoy it on the second eight weeks. Is so the I'm just... final going to be one of the two tests? Yes, it is. The final is not comprehensive, but it is. In other words, there's a few of the topics that carry over. It's like NP complete. I do have it on both tests. So it's not strictly off the second half, but it's not fully comprehensive either. I will give you an idea when it comes test time what's on the test. Okay. All right. Late work. I don't like late work. Late work just causes so many issues, you would not believe what late work causes. See, the problem is, uh, we'll use Austin for an example. Say Austin turns all his work in on time. But then we got Matt here, who turns it in two weeks late. Well, a lot of these take a lot, like AES takes me a very long time to grade. There's 110 blocks I have to check. And that sucks if I'm grading everybody's. And three weeks later, I have to get it all back out again and figure out what I was doing to write his. It would be better if I could do them all one time. It just makes it easier. And once you get behind on work, it kind of starts building. Okay. Withdrawals. If you want to drop, go ahead and withdrop. It's up to you. Um, AWs, if you don't do any work, I'm going to drop you by next week. Make sure you log into D2L. That's how I'm going to be your first thing to see if you actually logged in. If you have a disability, go see Janet Griffith. She is currently in the child care center. A.K.A. part of the library. It's 
they actually, believe it or not, have a, a game you can play at the library about finding the library. <laughs> Guess there's prizes. It's everywhere. It's like, it's everywhere. You know, no, I'm over in the other building, so. All right, uh, don't cheat. I catch people cheating all the time, and I get zeros, and people get all upset. And If you can find it online, guess what? I can find it online. So I think it's amazing some people don't think I know how to find stuff online. Okay, that's your syllabus. Let's talk about your course schedule here real quick. The schedule was put up here moments ago. Okay. In theory, this is the way we're going to do it. I will... I'm 90% sure I will not be able to get to every single lecture. But since it is an accelerated eight-week class, meeting one a week, you actually might have to do some work on your own. But I do have everything recorded. Every single lecture has been recorded. So, you know, I might just have to cut our stuff a little bit quicker or something like that. Okay? Are you okay with that? Understand? I'll show you where they all are. But here's what we're planning on doing. You have nine assignments which is worth 35% of your grade, and then the two exams. You'll see week four, we're actually covering some material, and actually week eight, this, this I'm pretty sure is kind of being week eight, I'll see. But, uh, so, yeah, we have a lot of stuff. You can take the test at home, by the way. Okay? I don't know if I'll be using Proctor you or not. I will let you know at that time if we are. But the schedule's up there. Again, I put it up there literally this afternoon. Um, if any of you looked at it earlier, it said 16 yeah. week, and it was... 16 weeks, um, Right. I bought too many books. Yeah. So you don't need the book for this class. I do give you everything you need in this class. Okay. Now, under the content, did you have a question? No. Oh, okay. Under content, like I told you, there's our course files. I'll put this recording in there. Then as we go, like there's week one, there's lecture one, and there's the recording from, I think this is 2013 and this is 2014. So you can actually listen to multiple years of it. I might have said something different or explained it differently or, you know, start watching. Hell, you can get ahead this way, okay? So all the old recordings should already be up there. They're on YouTube, and if you don't know this by now, every recording I make is on YouTube now. Now, all, not all the old ones are up there, but all the new ones go up there. So if you search for Kenneth Dewey, you can find every recording for every class I teach. Maybe you're taking forensics next semester. Go watch the recordings now and start playing with stuff. So... Ah, well, good. Yeah, it, it helps a lot. You know, I had a, what's funny, I used to store my WordPress. One day WordPress went down. I got a call from McAllister from a high school that was actually using my lectures to teach their class. It's like, what? Like, oh, yeah, we found your lectures we've been using. What are we? They're down. What are we going to do today? I'm like, obviously not using my lectures. <laughs> <laughs> but, uh, yeah, so there's lots of them up there. I'm not an expert at them. That's why I don't normally edit them very much. So you might find a few explicitives in there. And, uh, you know, <laughs> just, just be careful. All right. And, uh, you know, just you'll understand how all that works. Okay. So under here, we also have Dropbox. The dates are all wrong, and I'm not going to fix them, with the exception of one of them. I only fixed number one. That's AES. Because you know why I'm not fixing the rest of them? Because you submit them in the quizzes there yet. All those were was just sometimes students know, know to look in the quizzes. So now, like for assignment one, you go to the quizzes area. So you go over here, you go to quizzes, and there they are. The dates are correct in here. Can we open the, uh, other, the other work that's already? The, some of the Word documents, I didn't make all the Word documents, but if I did, they're in the content page. They're not inside of the Dropbox. Okay. Some of them, yes, are inside the content page. If they're not, I can probably put the rest of them in there for you. Well, yeah. Now, the quizzes, actually, let me look at them all. Every single one of them is unlimited time. So you can open it, print it, start working on it, just keep saving your answers. Don't submit until you're done. It could be three days later. Or then if, and if you open it and then he finds out something's wrong, he has to grab your well, yeah, because that's true. If, if you open it and I change it, I'm screwed. i got a great advantage. But, yeah, so you can open them, print them out, view them, do whatever you want to do with them, and then just submit them at the end. Just make sure you submit them. Okay? Uh, the exams are not correct. I just haven't updated those yet. Okay, so do we submit to Dropbox or do we submit? No, you submit everything to the quizzes with the okay. exception of AES. Okay. I'm planning on converting AES to this area, but it's, it's a lot of work, and I haven't finished that. That's the only assignment I haven't converted yet. The whole point of this 
easier for me to grade because you wouldn't believe sometimes people submit work in bizarre formats I can't read or can't open or at least this way you know exactly what I'm looking for. So I take it with because I'm new to this particular one. I knew the old one. So I take it when you open this, you can submit it at that point. Yes, you can. Okay. Like I'm going to go in here and I'm going to preview this quiz right now. Assignment one. I'm going to do start quiz. There's no time limit. See it right here. Unlimited. Okay. I'm going to do start quiz. And you're going to look at it, and it's going to say, decipher that information, put the answer below. Done. So copy it out, save it out, print it out, whatever you want to do. Decrypt it, stick the answers in there, and hit submit. You don't have to do it in one sitting. It can be done later. But if there's multiple questions, just make sure you save each response. Okay, because some of them have more than one. Okay, let me show you one with more than one. Uh, let's go inverse of W. Okay, we're going to start the quiz. Again, it's unlimited. You get one attempt, but it's unlimited time. So go in here and do each one. And just click Save after each one. When you're done, hit Submit. Don't submit after each one, because then you'll get a zero on the rest. Easy enough? Okay. So you can open them all up. With the, now, the test, you can't do that. They're not open yet. But. Okay, are we okay on the quizzes? The only reason I have them in the Dropbox is so you know to go to the other area, because sometimes people are like, I didn't well, see nothing in the Dropbox. Uh, turn stuff in in the Dropbox. I used to, but I try not to very much anymore. So with the exception of AES, which is still there, which might be moving. Now, yeah. are the quizzes after you submit them going to automatically auto grade and everything? Some of them will. Some of them I wait till everybody's done. Because I would really hate for Matt here to do it first and then share the answers with the entire class. That has happened. By the way, I actually had some students, it's funny, I had two students do it, they both got the exact same score, and I looked, one guy did the first half of the quiz, the other guy did the second half of the quiz, and they say, yep, because I can see every time you save an answer, every time you sweat, and it's funny, because this one guy jumped right down the halfway through and you know, saved all his, the other guy started at the top, and then they swapped, and it's like, nice. But they didn't lie about it, I said, so, I'm assuming you want me to split the score 50-50, you know, like, yep. <laughs> All right. <laughs> so, okay, everybody okay with that? Your grades will appear under grades. It'll look very different for you guys, and I haven't even set all this up yet, but it will be in here. It'll show you everything. Again, I haven't fully set this part up yet. And currently, you all have zeros. So, yeah, we're failing. But under the content page, I do tell you what the assignments are, like here's the Caesar Cipher. Now, that's what it is. Submit under the D2L quizzes. Okay? M most of these assignments, I actually give you practice ones, like practice for week one assignment right here. I tell you, shifted three over to get Easter, so I show you exactly how it works. So for nearly every assignment, there's a practice. For AES, there's a practice. You need to do the practice. Okay? Everybody okay? How to find everything? So every assignment has that, and we'll go through them as we get there. But I have a couple things we need to cover tonight, okay? I need to stop this recording, right? We're never going to.